right, so this is step one. First thing you're gonna need is a Google account. You're going to need a short wave file to prime the music that's gonna be generated. You feel me? What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new folder in the Google Drive and we'll title it something like AI music. And then we are going to file upload. We're gonna upload our sample. Next, you'll click the jukebox link either above or below, depending on this lesson. It'll take you here. So the first thing that we'll have to do is we'll have to check our GPU and connect. Make sure you're signed in to the right account too, by the way. So we're gonna do that. Check your GPU, connect. It'll run that cell. And then here are lyrics. If you want lyrics, you type them. If not, you can go ahead and set this mode to 5B. 5B will give you just music, but I want some lyrics. I just wanna see what they're gonna do with some of these generated lyrics that we had did earlier. Cool. I really liked, I think I really liked this one. But you know what? We gonna do the one that was all verses. We'll do it like this. Go to our lyrics. I'll paste that and get rid of the syntax right here. Ooh, 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 hey, yo. Now we run this. Got my lyrics from ChatGPT. Here we have it set to two samples. That's fine because it'll take less time with just two samples. I have it to five beat lyrics. It'll give me lyrics. Right here we have the name of the place it's gonna put the music. So let's do AI, what was it, AI music, right? I think it was. And then my file is called 7C. You wanna make sure that this directory matches wherever you saved your WAV file inside of your drive. So it does. And this slider right here will determine when it begins, when your generation starts. So let's have it do like eight seconds in type shit. So boom, we're eight seconds in, it's gonna start changing the song up. I don't really want a super long sample. The shorter amount of time you have this doing it, the faster you're gonna get something back. Shoot, 255 seconds. Artists, you can choose the artist here if you like. And why not? We'll say Rihanna. We'll keep it in the style of folk. I want it to be like a 99. The closer you are to one, the closer it is to your actual song. That means ratios like that is gonna give you like crazy amount of variation. I don't want that much variation. I usually do like 98.98 .98 or 0.99 because I don't, you know, I just want a, a little bit of a different vibe. You know what? Let's do 98. And so now we just run it. We'll give it access to our Google Drive. That, like, that all right it's gonna take some time so i'm gonna catch y'all in a little bit keep in mind that this process can take anywhere between two two and a half hours and that is the one downside to generative music right now is because of how much data is being processed it's not just text it's like a lot of music and it's not like trying to make music based off of music theory it's trying to make music based off of how it was trained with all this information it could be like playlists or it could be libraries of music that people own and it's called a data set and that's what the ai is trained on so it takes a while right now for now for it to go through the whole process of giving you a mp3 that's of high fidelity we can get back a pretty low fidelity mp3 within 30 30 minutes probably maybe less you can't read me come fast but you're gonna want to wait for the full two and a half hours i promise it's worth it and in the meantime what you can do to optimize your workflow is you can make more Google accounts and run other generations at the same time. Now, this won't make it happen faster, but you can get more content in the same amount of time. So just a tip. Uh, in the meantime, I just really quick want to utilize ChatGPT to try something really quick. All right. So here we have boom i'll let you see it boom it says generate a 300 word article for a music ai academy website that provides a comprehensive guide to increasing productivity the article should cover various strategies techniques and be written in a clear and concise style accessible to a general audience to support your advice utilize research and expert opinions from credible sources like academic journals and productivity experts Incorporate relevant statistics, examples, and case studies to illustrate your points and bring the advice to life. Consider the potential challenges and obstacles in increasing productivity and offer strategies to overcome them. And then here I have the iterations. So, boom! As you can see, we generated some shit. As a music professional, your time is a precious commodity. With deadlines looming and a constantly shifting landscape, it can be challenging to manage your time effectively and increase productivity. However, by adopting the right strategies and techniques, you can improve your focus 
and get more done in less time. And this comprehensive guide will explore a range of productivity techniques and offer tips for overcoming common obstacles. Hey, not bad. I love this. The second key technique is effective time management. One popular method is the Pomodoro technique, which involves breaking work into 25 minute intervals followed by short breaks. This helps avoid burnout and keeps you motivated throughout the day. Another effective technique is calendar blocking, which involves scheduling time for specific tasks and creating dedicated time slots for work, rest, and leisure. So while we're on that topic, I want to show you a tool that you can use. This is an AI tool called Motion, and it is a calendar ooh, powered by AI to set up and move around certain tasks, leisure, and work. So if you miss something, hold on. Yeah. We're gonna backlog that because we're still doing the video. So boom, what that will do is it'll schedule that task after the deadline on my behalf. I don't even have to worry about it. Yiddy. It automates a lot of my schedule. It has these different things that I have here. Descript the lesson, run a jukebox, use chat, GPT, exercise, meditate, lunch, and it'll automate my tasks within my week appropriately. So, just want to show you guys motion. This is motion AI. And let's get back. Let's take a listen real quick to the first level. Now, this is, keep in mind, this is going to be the lowest quality of fidelity that we get. But it, while we're waiting, I just want you to hear some. So, peep this. <laughs> Okay, getting a little funky. So now as this keeps upscaling, the quality of the sound fidelity will get better. So we'll be able to understand the words better, the vocal textures and vocal tones and melodies better and the separation. Let's pop it. I'm gonna make a beat, a song or whatever using this AI sound pack. These are all sounds that I generated using the process that I showed you with Jukebox. I have them open here in my DAW. This is Logic Pro 10. And we're just gonna see what's popping. Let's go crazy. So basically, this is what the finished product sounds like. I just turned my fish. I just picked out a brand new fit. I know money from where we live. It's Jack funny on a spell like key. I've been all out of my hands, but I have no key. Burn on the streets, not playing that feet. Waxing dope, marijuana, my jeans. Diamond shining on my wrist, don't freeze. Throwing up in the backseat. Drop that roof and I make it look easy. All right, folks, that's a wrap. We've come to the end of another mind-blowing video, and I hope you're as pumped as I am. 
No, but for real, we've covered a lot of ground today, and I think that it's safe to say that you're a certified expert in AI-generated music. So go ahead, give yourself a pat on the back, grab a snack, fasten the glow of your newfound knowledge. And hey, if you want to keep leveling up your game, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and make sure that you have your notifications turned on so you never miss a beat. And of course, drop a comment below and let me know what you think of the video. Did it meet your expectations? Did you learn something new? Did I leave out anything that you think I should have included? Let me know. This conversation is an ongoing one and we're going to keep it going and we're going to keep it spicy. So thanks for tuning in with us at Sauce Factory. I'm glad to put you down, baby. Peace.